Okay, this video will be another uh, subsection of programming language theory in the theory of computation video series. Um, you're wondering uh, OS. Um, well, OS is not operating system in this case. It's actually uh, stands for operational semantics. Now, this goes along with uh, programming language theory and sort of similar to the denotational semantics we talked about last video. Basically, it's sort of like the uh, finite state machine, you know, state transition systems. You know, we have a state and then transition function, then we go from one state to the other based on, you know, what the function uh, dictates for us to do. So, I mean, it goes something like this. Let's say, you know, language, the L is, you know, isomorphic to S, which, you know, equals that S implies, you know, it's like program subscript D, something like that. We have like you know language and then you have we have you know a context and you know our grammars and things like that um basically uh, comp, uh program pro programs reducing to you know uh simpler versions you know if you can you know mathematically prove it as such like you know we have a program that may take you know x amount of steps and instead it would take you know x minus you know three steps or something like that and so but it, again this is like you know state initial transition function you know state final can be like you know a two step you know, uh, state, trans state transition functions. I mean, again, finite state machines, you know, are very closely linked to uh, state operational semantics. Now, also, uh, I briefly touched, on, briefly touched on this before. It's um, non-deterministic and deterministic algorithms, which, you know, non-deterministic means there's no set, set way of doing it. You can do it, you know, two to the, whatever, however many you know, possible, however many thing, objects you're dealing with. Again, like I did the, the lamp example, like let's say you have like, you know, two, I don't know, like cars, or you know, you can use how many ways can you arrange them, like you know, a red car here, a blue car there, you know, so on and so forth. And deterministic would be like a yes or no, or a very set procedure, uh, you know, again, yes or no. Let me scroll, scroll move this down a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, again, the finite, uh, um, finite, finite state machines can you know, look something like this. Uh, you can be sort of like, you know, represented in like a directed graph from one state to the other, you know, via, transi via transition function. I didn't really bother to uh, write the, uh, the, the, the um, write out the graph in you know algebraic notation simply because there's not enough space and because it would just take a while because it's pretty you know interlinked and it would take I know when graphs are interlinked you have to you know, write down every single link there is and that could be you know qu uh, quite time and space consuming and uh, so that I guess that's a general overview of operational semantics it's like finite state machines you're studying more more in depth what they do and then in a con and how finite state machines are applied to programming languages. And uh, so that is uh, it for this video, and uh, that, that's all for now. See you guys later.